so back in December I did a winter must-haves video and since now it is now spring I decided it would be good to do a spring beauty and fashion must-haves. I also wanted to say that this black thing is not my bra. It's I just lost my breath there. It's actually my bathing suit. If you want a bathing suit haul or a bathing suit like tip video for different body types, then I would, sorry, there's a car. Then I would love to do that for you guys. So just comment that in the bottom, uh, in the comment section. And I think we should just get started with this video. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with my spring beauty must-haves. And I put them in this cute little green bunny with a pink bow. And I don't know, I just put them in here. And I think they look so cute in here. Okay, so enough about the bunny. I'm gonna go over face products first. So in the springtime, I still wear a foundation. I only switch over to tinted moisturizer in the summer. So I use, um, I've currently been loving the Almay Clear Complexion Blemish Heal Technology Makeup. And all of these products will be listed in the down bar. So if you don't catch the name or anything. So this is what it looks like. It's a new um, product that came out and I love it. It's really, really great. And then over top of that, I just set it with a mineral translucent finishing veil and this is from Maybelline and it's the Maybelline mineral power translucent powder okay now moving on to eye products so during the springtime where I live it gets really warm it's actually like 75 degrees today which is pretty warm and currently I've been using the Rimmel sexy curves waterproof full volume and curve mascara from Rimmel London and you can get this at any drugstore but it's a really good uh, volumizing waterproof mascara so I use this during the springtime when I go swimming and stuff and then I also love to switch up my um, eyeliner color instead of just going with black I like to go with like a really bright pop of color and this is a turquoise eyeliner and this is by Rimmel London again and it's the exaggerate waterproof eye definer so waterproof um, in the color emerald sparkle so it's this really pretty emerald uh, turquoisey color and I love wearing this in the springtime on my lower lash line Okay, and then as for must-have cheek products, I have two right here, and the first one is a blush, and this is the CoverGirl blush in Natural Glow, and it's just a really nice peachy golden color, which is really nice for spring because it gives you just kind of like a natural flush, and so this is what it looks like. Just a really nice natural color, and so I love this for spring, and I've been using this every day. And then the other must-have that I need, need, need for springtime is a highlighter. And this is by Benefit, and this is their High Beam. For must-have lip products, I have three that I want to show you guys. Two of them are bright lip colors, and then the other one is kind of like a nude color. The first one is a Revlon Lip Butter in the color Tutti Fruity, and it's a bright orange. Orange and corals are really big this year for springtime, and so this one is absolutely beautiful. It's so pigmented. So as you can see, it's just this bright, hot, coral, orangey color that looks really good on the lips. I wore this once and it's so pigmented, oh my gosh. So I'm going to be wearing this a lot during this springtime. And then the next one is a hot pink. And this is the L'Oreal Couleur Riche Balm with SPF 15, which is good because it's sunny. Um, and this is in the color Pink Satin. And it's so bright and pretty, oh my gosh. I just love this color for the springtime. And I think any hot pinks, hot corals, hot oranges, I think that's perfect for spring. And then the last one is a nude. So this is the Couleur Riche Balm in the color Nourishing Nude. And it's just a very gorgeous nude color, very subtle and pretty. And I love this one. So I've been loving bright and nude lip colors for this spring. They're definitely my must-have lip products. So during the springtime, I love pastel polishes. The first one right here is Revlon's Nail Polish in Flirt, and it's a pastel purple. And then the next one is by Essie, and it is in the color Turquoise and Caicos, and it's a beautiful, minty, kind of turquoise, um, bluish green, like a seafoam color, and it's absolutely gorgeous. And then a color from NYC Long Wearing Nail Enamel. This is the color Times Square Tangerine Cream, and it's a bright neon orange that is absolutely beautiful. And then the last one is a color from the name brand Shine On, and it is does not have a name, but it's just this really pretty neon green. So this is very, very pretty too. And there is a helicopter above me. Woo! Hey! Oh my gosh, I just realized that this pretty much matches my shirt. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? Okay, as for non-makeup products, the first thing I want to talk about is my favorite spring scent, and that is the Victoria's Secret Pink Beauty Rush Juiced Berry. Uh, this is a body mist, and it looks like this. I have the mini size, but it smells so fruity, and I think fruity for the spring time is really, really nice. I also like florals, but I actually don't own any floral 
um, perfumes or body sprays. So I just liked this juiced berry smell for the springtime. I actually have a different scent for the summer, but you'll see that in my summer must-haves video. So yeah, this is my favorite spring scent. And then for hair, my one must-have product is definitely a dry shampoo and this is the Salon Graphics Invisible Dry Shampoo. No white powder residue, cleans and refreshes your hair and I swear this is like the best product in the world. I love this and especially in the springtime my hair tends to get more oily than in the winter for some reason so I really like a dry shampoo just in case I don't have time to wash my hair. I can just spray this in and it will dry up all the oil so I love this. So the first must have for me is a jean jacket and this one is from Forever 21 and jean jackets are just something that you can literally put over anything to make it look good and it's just a staple for spring for me so this is definitely a must have and then the next thing would be blazers and I'm just going to show one this is a peach blazer that I got at you guessed it, Forever 21. And I like this one because it's kind of a cropped blazer with the ruching and the sleeves. I love blazers because they can instantly give you a preppy and polished feeling, which sometimes is good to have. I don't know, sometimes I like to feel really preppy. So blazers are definitely a must have for me. My next fashion must have are crop tops. And this is just one. This is one I got at Forever 21. And it's, um, ooh, there is something on it. Ew. Ugh. Okay, well this one, sorry, interruption, cars. Um, so this one is just floral and especially floral for the springtime. Um, so yeah, crop tops. And then also another must have for me are maxi dresses. I love maxi dresses for the springtime. Um, I only have one, but I really wanna get some more. So comment below if you know of any good places to get um, maxi dresses. Uh, any stores that sell cute maxi dresses. So this is one that is just from Target, it's black. Yeah, um, okay, now for shoes, you guys are gonna laugh. So, um, let me take them off because I'm actually wearing them right now. So my must-have shoes for the springtime are my Javianas, and I know it's not the most fashionable thing, but I honestly live in these. Like, I wear these every day. If I'm not going somewhere super fancy or anything, I will seriously just wear these every day. I live in these puppies, and they are just so comfortable. So Javian is definitely my must-have shoes. And I decided to pick out another pair just because um, I wanted to show you guys my more fashionable pair of shoes for the springtime. So that pair would just be a pair of strappy brown gladiator sandals. And these ones actually have a little heel, which I love because it gives me some height. And so these are what they look like. And they're from Target. You can't get them anymore. I got them like a year ago, but um, you could probably find something similar at Target. And yeah, so that's my more fashionable pair of shoes. But I, I actually wear those a lot. So those are kind of like my must-have shoes as well. Now for accessories. So the first thing that's a must-have for me would be this hat. And this is a, just a brown straw hat that I got at Rite Aid. And then also rings are definitely a must-have for me this spring I always wear them pretty much every day of my life and then my last spring must-haves would be these long statement necklaces that I got from forever 21 and this one is just turquoise and gold and this one is just kind of like a tribal inspired one but I love statement necklaces for the springtime because you can wear it with a simple top and it will totally just finish off your outfit and make it look completely put together and beautiful so statement necklaces are definitely spring must-haves for me this year and that is the end of my video I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it was helpful for you if you were kind of looking to maybe um, get something for spring makeup wise beauty wise or fashion wise and I will talk to you guys in my next video love you guys bye